we've gotten to season eight, which was a lot of people's last season. We did not know at the time. We did not know. We didn't know. Nobody saw it coming. <laughs> yeah, nobody saw it coming. So I guess we'll start with the infamous Mr. Jax Taylor. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jax Taylor. <laughs> uh, what a character. What a character. Yeah, we have a lot of episodes where we talk uh, quite a lot about him and his uh, villain arc. I rewatch, like I was saying, I rewatched a little bit of season eight to kind of remember like where we last saw him and what he was like in his last season. <laughs> and uh, it was it was pretty rough. He was yeah. um, a bit of a train wreck. <laughs> Yep. And it was his wedding season, so, like, yeah. <laughs> you would not think that. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, like, the one season you should be, like, happy and, like, having a good time. Well, I mean, I guess ask Kyle Cook how he felt about his oh, wedding season true. of <laughs> Southern Summer House, so maybe we don't know. <laughs> yeah, so it was his wedding season. He did get married. That was nice. Um, But the whole season was kind of, like, him fighting with, like, Tom Sandoval, like, demoting mm-hmm. him from, like, best man to a groomsman to being uninvited to the wedding to being invited mm-hmm. to the wedding. Um, they, and at, towards the end of the season, there's like rivaling pool parties where like there's full yeah. on like line in the sand. Like, do you go to Jackson Britney's pool party or do you go to Ariana and Tom's pool party? This is also about the time when Jax was like really angry and just kind of like sending rage texts to everyone for like mm-hmm. no reason. And then going to the gym four times a day. Yeah. Um, and like kind of like tweeting or like live Instagramming about <laughs> Um, and then on the finale, uh, he is like really distraught over like his like fights with Sandoval and he's mm-hmm. talking to Lisa and he's like, these are my true friends. Like, this is why my show is successful. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> and Lisa's like, this is my show. Yeah. You better like, put some respect on me. Like, who do you think you are? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I kind of feel like that was the moment that he... Like, that it was put into motion that he was yeah, gonna like, not na- return in the coffin like, like you're dead <laughs> you're done buddy like that was that was bad lisa was mm-hmm. super pissed uh and that finale too they play like the slow vanderpump rules song and like it's really mm. just like lisa's like i don't know where we go from here and like everyone hates each other it was just like for it to be all of their last seasons it was I just know. like brutal um I... but yeah so I kind of asked before, like, I wonder, like, do you remember pieces of this Zoom reunion? I really just remember, like, the amount that he fought with Charlie, like, and, like, how, like, that of all things, like, was not where I was expecting the reunion to go. I was like, well, why, why are you guys fighting? What's going on here? Yeah, everyone was really angry at Charlie, but I was like, no, she's, like, calling Jax out. Like, she's yeah. like, I thought that she was doing well, and everyone was like, shut up, Charlie. Like, Oh, <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, Tom and Jax were really going at each other. Yeah. Um, but, and then again, like, Tom, uh, Jax went into his, like, I'm a work in progress, and then they had a really funny collage of him saying I'm a work in progress <laughs> literally from season one. Um, and he then, and Ramona like should like yeah. get a podcast <laughs> called I'm a work in progress oh my god it's so true <laughs> and this is where it really started to get difficult because like the 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 group would try to give them some like constructive criticism and like a lot of them were coming from a place of love like Stassi was like you know like it gets difficult because we're scared we're kind of scared of you guys like we're scared to um <laughs> get Jax angry or we're scared to upset Britney because we're you know saying something we like Jax yeah um and then Jax was just like, oh, no one, you know, like, I'm not, like, no one's perfect. Like, why are you guys all picking at me, on me? And then Brittany goes like, oh, well, apparently our friends don't love us. Which is just like, that's what it, like, just like the the yeah. victim complex of this yeah, couple exactly. had, like, yeah. at that point had just gotten, like, really bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like, even Stassi or uh, even Lala was like, you know, Jax, like, you keep saying that you're struggling. Like, Randall paid for you to go see someone and you didn't show up. And he's like, mm. anyways, like, Jax was just getting really mad that, like, <laughs> anyone was basically questioning him in any way and he he had like these mutton chops too yeah i know the bad facial hair man oh yeah the <laughs> part that i did forgot happened is there's literally a scene where he is fighting with tom and ariana and he's like you know what ariana like you just bother me like you you bought like you've never liked me i've never liked you like we just don't like each other like that's just is what it is mm-hmm. and i forgot about that i forgot yeah. like how much he didn't like ariana <laughs> because now he's like team ariana like yeah. see, i told you like send him yeah. sucks like he's yeah. the worst you like, go girls like knock him dead at this reunion yeah like <laughs> you're the number one guy in the group and like i feel like he literally just didn't <laughs> even acknowledge the like 
vitriol that he spewed about her. Yeah, and for her so like, many years. mental health struggles. Yeah, always calling her like a Debbie Downer and like yeah, yeah. So that was a lot. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that was the last that we saw them. Yeah, I know. Like officially, at least I know it's so crazy. The the I I just feel like they didn't know what was coming like I don't think that they like ever thought that there was a world in which they couldn't be on this show yeah and like the level that both of their egos kind of like got to to get to that point where they like think like oh our friends don't like us or it's my show like whatever it is that you like think that you have to be like so high and mighty um well now they know (laughs) yeah so then in um or I think around December 2020 they put out an announcement that like they're leaving and I feel like they also tried to spin it that they were stepping away um, um did it only happen that late yeah that's when I'm they so post, surprised like, or that's at least when Britney posted um yeah so I think Jax might have been earlier Crazy. I couldn't find his on his timeline so he might right. have he might have removed admit. the post yeah I think it's uh, very possible but Britney still has it maybe she's like I'm back don't <laughs> yeah, exactly. get rid of this <laughs> never happened the middle of the last two seasons what are you talking about <laughs> yeah um and now it seems that they might be making a comeback so yeah. uh what do you know about this this couple now um i know that uh britney was doing like jenny craig uh <laughs> when she was like one of the spokes people for jenny craig um that's about it honestly like I feel like I just like you keep on like hearing about them like circulating in like the media like trying to be like oh we're getting a tv show oh we're getting a thing if something's gonna happen like eh, wait for us go on let's go in right now I know it almost um, feels like they're putting out like um like one of those like vision boards <laughs> they're yeah. like maybe if we just like put it out into all these news outlets you <laughs> manifest it that's how it will come <laughs> yeah so it's actually a lot that has happened to this couple uh, oh, really? They, of course, have had their son cruise mm-hmm. in April of 2021. Um, and for the most part, it does seem to have just like done so much for them. Like Jax mm-hmm. and him, uh, Jax and him, Jax and Brady have both come out and said like leaving the show was kind of a blessing and it was like so mm-hmm. good for their family and their mental health. And like, I think they really needed a break from it. Um, yeah. They have a podcast now called When Reality Hits. Mm-hmm. Um and actually, I did listen to a couple of episodes and like it was funny because Jax was saying, you know, like I was always like the villain and I was the bully and like I was just the punching bag. And like Brittany's like, yeah, but like you did a lot of things to deserve that. So like you should take some, uh, you know, responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, oh, my God. Watching well, back any of these seasons, like I just am blown away each time. I'm like, oh, yeah, Jax was such a dick. <laughs> like, yeah, like it was bad. Oh, we forget. God. And like, yes, Sandoval's horrible, but like it Jax is. was also horrible. And like, also the really two bad things, too. Two yeah. things could be true at once. And like, <laughs> I just don't see like the growth from him that I feel like I see with like Kristen or or like even with Stassi and the way that they're both able to look back on their time at Vanderpump Rules and like mm-hmm. criticize themselves. Yeah. Um. Whereas like, Jax is more like he's like yeah you know I said a lot of things but like they were always true and like yeah I always took accountability but it's like you you I, I don't think he don't. did no I don't um, think so so and like you know, just because you were like telling on your friends and like spreading the truth about them doesn't mean that you were always telling the truth about everything right like you were ratting out Tom and Tom just every once in a while to like get the attention away from yourself yeah. that was what you, you were doing like well exactly and like i don't doubt that he's a great dad and like they that mm-hmm. they do look like they have like the cutest little family and i'm super happy for them and honestly like i hope that if they do come back into the bravo world that it doesn't send them back to where they were before because yeah. like that was so toxic mm-hmm. um but yeah so they have their their podcast they might be coming back now for this like Valley Village that we've heard about, uh, which is, you know, who knows if that's we'll going to happen. We'll see it when we believe. We'll believe it when we see it. <laughs> Jax might be, they might be coming back to film because Jax just uh, posted like, here we go with like mm-hmm. a little we'll camera like, little camera. Yeah. So they're definitely hyping up some uh, excitement. Some... I, mm-hmm. I guess they're, they're doing something. Yeah, um, they're selling their own merch, which we we yes. talked about Discuss. last uh, last yeah. episode, which is pretty funny. One thing that I didn't know is apparently Jax filmed a pilot called House of Villains, um, oh. where like a bunch of like reality TV villains would compete, and like some of the alleged names here is like Heidi Montag from The Hills, Ooh. Johnny Bananas from oh. The Challenge, <laughs> and like rumored host Anna Delvey. Oh my God! What? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god i don't know but like okay. if this is real we need, i kind of i kind of want to see it yeah <laughs> like is there raw footage somewhere we could just like watch it on youtube or something <laughs> Yeah, so would be really curious to watch that show. Uh, and of course, the last we actually officially saw Jackson Brit- Brittany was on Watch What Happens Live when they were asked back to be part of the speculation on, on Scandaval and give their <laughs> uh, opinion on it. We have an episode on that and how kind of unhinged it was. <laughs> if you want to go back, <laughs> it was bad. Uh, and watch. So yeah, like looks like they're kind of back in the Bravo sphere and we'll <laughs> just uh, wait and see what happens. <laughs> totally. Let's do it. <laughs> 